Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about walking and the benefits of walking as an exercise. Also, we'll be seeing about what all needs to be done before and after walking, who can do this and how to do this effectively. Let's go into this video. So as we see here, walking is low impact. It requires minimal equipment and it can be done at any time of day and at our own pace. Also, unlike some great and vigorous forms of exercises, walking can be just done where we get out and walk without worrying about the risks associated with it. Walking is a great way to improve or maintain our overall health. Just 30 minutes of walking every day can increase cardiovascular fitness, strengthen bones and other benefits that we'll be seeing next. It also reduces the risk of developing conditions like heart diseases, diabetes and some cancers. So unlike some other forms of exercises, walking is free and it obviously doesn't require any special equipment or training. Also, walking is a great form of physical activity for people who are overweight, elderly and those who haven't exercised in a long time. So this says that walking is something that is suitable for people of all age groups. Walking exercises can be classified into four categories, namely health walking, fitness walking, speed walking and race walking. So fitness walking is a physical activity suitable for people of all ages. It can be practiced anywhere and anytime according to one's ability. Regular fitness walking will not only improve health indices and physical fitness, but it also nurtures self-discipline and strengthens willpower. Moreover, fitness walking is a low-impact aerobic exercise which inflicts less impact force on the lower limbs than jogging. Also, we know that too much walking can lead to many kind of risks and it is not good for our health too. So, an average speed of 50 to 100 meters per minute is recommended. Our exercising heart rate can be monitored by checking your pulse and also it can be monitored by using a heart rate monitor. How to do this pulse checking? Let me explain. So first, place your index and middle fingers on the arteries of your wrist. You have to feel the pulse but do not press too hard. You have to use your thumb as it has a light pulse which can easily mislead. Start counting from zero and you have to record the number of pulses in 15 seconds. Then you have to multiply the number by 4 to obtain the pulse rate per minute. This helps to monitor your heart rate. So also the general public should participate in aerobic exercise of moderate intensity for at least an accumulation of 30 minutes a day and at least 3 days a week. It will be even better if one works out on a daily basis. Walking is a kind of aerobic exercise of moderate intensity. So if you are doing this in sessions, uh, each of your sessions should last at least 10 minutes with an accumulation of at least 30 minutes a day. So that this is the most effective way that it can be. The next topic is getting ready for walking. So walking is not something that you just do right on. You ju just get up and walk and that's it. It's not like that. So you just have to know some concepts and you have to take some precautionary measures and some steps before doing this walking exercise. So we'll see what all is needed before walking and after walking. So first, you have to know your physical conditions. This is especially needed for those who are chronically ill because chronically ill people who are walking, this can worsen their conditions. And then work progressively and set objectives for various stages. For example, from light walk to heavy walk and then from slow to quick, from short to long duration. This should increase gradually and not at a time. So... Another important measure is that you have to wait at least an hour after a full meal. Don't walk right after you have had a meal. Do not walk on an empty stomach. Do not drink alcohol or smoke. You should not eat immediately afterwards walking. Walk in a safe venue. You should not walk on very uneven or wet surface. Walk with a partner for mutual care. 
do not skip warm up or cool down exercises the next is basic gear for walking wearing a proper sports shoes can protect the feet proper shoes can serve as a cushion by absorbing shock it also helps prevent sports injuries and protect the feet the feet are subject to forces that are 1.5 to 2 times of the body weight while walking so a pair of proper shoes can reduce such forces and thus protect the feet you should wear a composition of sports shoes uh, also suitable socks is needed to protect the feet and also to protect the shoes you have to wear sports wear that fits you well allows free movement of the body is breathable sweat absorbent and stretchy also you can ca- carry a water bottle watch towel small waist bag and sun hat when you are walking warm up exercises this is very important before you walk generally speaking 10 minutes of warm up is advisable for 1 hour of exercise it is recommended to start with stepping on the spot and some joint exercises for 2 to 3 minutes to be followed by stretching exercise for the lower limbs also maintaining a correct posture during walking is very important to get the benefits of walking just as how taking precautionary measures and the necessary steps before walking is important likewise taking some steps after ex- exercising or after walking is also as important as that so after walking it's very important to do some cool down exercises and adjustment so after exercising water loss must be replenished so if the wa- weather is slightly cool you can wear a jacket to avoid getting a cold cool down stretching exercises though very important are always neglected by most of us in fact it is not advisable to bring our body to an abrupt halt after exercising you can have to do some stretching exercises to relax your muscles and calm down your body so now we are going to see the most important benefits of walking M- Walking can help to maintain a healthy weight and lose body fat. It also helps to prevent or manage various conditions including heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, cancer and type 2 diabetes as I've told before. It also improves cardiovascular fitness and strengthens your bones and muscles. It improves muscle endurance, increases energy levels and it also helps to improve your mood, cognition, memory and sleep. It also improves your balance and coordination and helps to strengthen our immune system. It also helps reduce stress and tension. So, this picture helps us get an idea about what kind of a posture we should maintain while walking. So, as we can see, while walking, you should keep your head high and look forward and not at the ground. You should not look either high or uh up or down you should keep your head straight and also keep a straight posture that is keep your back also straight you should not arch back backward or forward gently tighten your stomach muscles and keep your chin parallel to the ground move your shoulders naturally as well as swing your arms freely with a slight bend in your elbows you should go on a regular and consistent pace instead of walking slowly or very fastly just go do it in a rhythm also you should walk smoothly rolling your foot from heel to toe so you should follow these instructions and keep all these in mind while walking so that you can get the best benefits of this exercise so we have come to an end of this video i'm just going to summarize what all we have seen we have seen about the walking exercise how to do it and uh, the types of walking exercise and mainly about fitness exercise and we have seen uh, the necessary steps to be taken before and after walking the benefits of walking and also we have seen a picture that indicates how to walk so that we can get the b- most benefits of it so thank you thank you for listening